Hello and welcome to another video from Colour with Claire. Today I'm going to be showing you the very elusive discontinued shade of pencil from the Faber-Castell Polychromos range. This pencil is the Light Violet number 139 and it doesn't appear in any of the Polychromos sets currently on the market, even the full 120 set, so by rights it really should be 121 but they got rid of this one I have no idea why I'm not even sure when they discontinued it but I've never heard of the color in three years that I've been coloring so um, I mean I've heard that there was a discontinued one before but I've never seen it in packs as long as I've been coloring so it's obviously quite a while ago that they got rid of this color and there is no light purple in polychromos obviously this is it um, and I really would love to know why they got rid of it because there's nothing even close to it in the current Polychromo set, so it's kind of baffling. But um, I felt I had to get this pencil because I found it in one place that would actually ship to me, um, and it was so difficult to find. And I've just really was really curious about it. Actually, wanted to know um, what the exact colour was, and you know, just fill the gap in my collection. So let's have a look at how it compares to um, the other pencils that sit side by side with it and obviously exactly what it looks like on the paper so I'm just going to do a really light layer and maybe I'll zoom in a little bit more so as you can see it is a very very light purple it's barely more than just a whisper on the paper it's sort of um, reminds me a little bit of the grayed lavender from the Prismacolor set of pencils. It's very, very light. And that's just a couple of passes over. Uh, and then if we do, let's do a really hard pressure so we can see the full depth of color that you could get from this pencil. Loads of pencil dust. So as you can see, it's got quite a bit darker but it's still a very super light, sort of really light lilac shade of purple. Now, this is light violet, so I was expecting it to um, blend quite nicely in with violet number 138. But if we just, um, let's use hard pressure again to compare them. If we just have a look at the two purples close together. There's a couple of light layers you'll see that the actual violet looks a lot pinker, um, more of a red violet than this, uh, this light violet colour, which is rather more blue. So it, I don't think that they match up very well together. You would think that light violet and violet would be natural blending, you know, friends. But um, I've actually found, messing around with all the colours, that mauve number 249 is actually more of a natural colour to blend the light violet into. So again a couple of layers here and as you can see the mauve is much more of a bluer purple and that just seems to naturally look like the darker shade to go with that colour rather than this one. So let's try and blend them together. Super super light pencil, it really hardly makes a mark on the page but it'd be a great colour for doing shadowing, shading around things, um, rather than using a grey. It is quite a big gap between this mauve and um, the light violet, so I'm not expecting it to be an amazing blend or anything. I'm just going to pop a little bit of colour and not go too heavy with it, so we'll try and get it as seamless as we can, but it is a pretty big jump, so but I just think that the mauve is the natural blender uh, colour for this light violet rather than the violet. So I'm pushing loads harder now than I did before, trying to get as much of a blend as I can between a really light and a really dark colour. But I do think that that looks 
more natural than this would. Let's give it a go. So we've got our quick layer of light violet. And the violet itself. See, the violet is actually a much lighter shade than the mauve. So for that reason, they probably will blend better than that one, but I just think that they're closer in tone. That makes sense. So that's sort of burnished pretty much to the max now. I don't think we're going to get any more out of that. It started looking slightly grainy. But um, there's the two blended together. Both of them look nice actually. It's just that, as I say, I think those two are paired better. So where can you get this extremely elusive pencil from? Um, there's two places that I've found and the first one is an online shop in the Netherlands called uh, paperpads.nl but um, even though they have the pencil in stock the shipping can be quite high so I tried to inquire about shipping to the UK and it turns out it was 15 euros just to ship a pencil and that's just so much more than it actually costs uh, in the first place. Where I got my pencil from was Amazon UK, where someone, one seller in Germany is selling it currently for £8, five pence. Now that is more than I would ever, ever want to pay for a pencil. I loathe paying, you know, £3 or £4 for a luminance pencil. Um, so £8 is incredibly high for one pencil, but I was so curious, I just had t to buy it just to see how it was, what it looked like. Um, and I'll be leaving links in the description for you to go ahead and have a look on the um, Amazon UK and the Netherlands site as well because if you live you know in, in Europe or close to the Netherlands it'll probably be much cheaper for you there. Um, let me just check how much the actual pencil is on that Netherlands website because I'm sure it's something like a pound. It's ridiculously cheap. So light violet polychromos coming up now. Ah, light violet. So it's one euro fifty nine, which I don't know, that's probably about a pound or something. It's so, so cheap. It's just such a shame that it's 15 euros to ship it over here. Now, again, I don't know if they ship to the US. So that's something you're going to have to inquire about. And the seller, the German seller on Amazon UK, where I got mine from, definitely doesn't ship to the US because I actually tried to do um, like a fake order earlier just to see if it would go through and it says that they don't. So fingers crossed, if you want this in the US, you're going to be able to get it from the Netherlands page. I think that's the only place other than Amazon UK that's actually selling this colour at the moment. It is incredibly rare. Um, I've scoured Google and that's the only two places that I can find it. Now, if you go on the Amazon UK link, you will notice that it says that there is only one left in stock, but I think that's just um, either an error or they've um, just put one to sell one at a time. I don't really know, but it did say that before I bought mine, and as soon as I bought mine, it didn't go out of stock. It just said one more in stock, one more in stock. So I'm guessing they've got a good stock of these. The postage to the UK was super quick. They said that I would have it by the 15th to the 20th of January. It's the 12th today and it's just turned up. So um, can't fault that at all. So let me know what you think of this rare colour from Faber-Castell and whether you are going to buy it and outlay that kind of money just for one pencil. Um, I'm going to be putting it on my pencil chart so I can uh, compare it with the other pencils, but it is far and away the very lightest purple in the set. There's nothing even close to it, um, and it will be nice to have a light purple in polychromos. Now, when you're layering on the page, just quickly, because it is so light, don't 
sort of think that the pigment isn't as good as any of the other polychromos pencils it is it's just the lightest purple ever so um because i've seen a couple of reviews that were moaning about it being you know not making much of a mark on the page but it is a very light shade so what can you say um it's exactly the same hardness and feel as the other polychromos pencils there's nothing different about it whatsoever still got that same beautiful oil based core and yeah, so I hope that you've enjoyed looking at this pencil <laughs> and uh, any questions just let me know. Give me a comment if you want to ask me anything. Um, do click the thumbs up button and make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Thanks so much and I'll see you soon on Colour with Claire.